How's it going? Slamwise GMG here. Today we're going to continue our exploration of all things edges. So today we are going to specifically look at the inside edge. So that means we are going to be going from just turning on our edges to now doing a plow stop, which is a point of anxiety for a lot of people for some reason. Here's an example of what a plow stop looks like. It's one of the main stops we use in roller derby. I would argue almost the most important for blockers. So check this clip out real quick. So recently I kind of had a mind shift so like when I say recently, I mean like within the last couple of months. We in my league typically teach the plow stop in its entirety. We start off just like, here's how you do a plow stop. And then we just have people attempt it. Um, I don't think that I was very good at a plow for at least a year. And like at that year mark, I was like, passable for like maybe slowing somebody down with a plow stop but it took me a long time to learn and it wasn't until I started working on my single leg strength and the ability to plow independently with each leg that I actually understood it and put the two legs together and was successful. I sound crazy right but please hear me out. If you can perform a single leg plow stop on each of your legs effectively, you should have an amazing double leg plow stop. What I typically find with the fresh meet in our league is that they have one leg that is typically the weaker side, that they're not very good at doing basically anything with that leg. For me, it was my left leg and me and my left leg are still not buddies for the most part. So once I started working really heavily on that left leg plow, my double leg plow became so much stronger because my left leg was actually holding its own. Whereas before, my right leg was doing literally all the work. So why am I harping on plow stops so heavily? I personally think that the plow stop is kind of like the bread and butter of roller derby right now. So if you are going to be a forward facing blocker, which is typically where most people start out in this crazy sport, you have to be good at plowing. But wait, slam, there's somebody there bracing me. They can just hold me up. They can't, that's not their job. Their job is to communicate and also apply a little bit of breaks to the situation, but their job is not to hold you up. Recently on my team, we switched to this whole mindset where like, a wall is only as strong as its weakest blocker. So we are really, really working on being great single blockers. So what I mean by that is I could hold the jammer for a little while by myself. So we want everybody on our team to have that skill. Imagine if everybody could do that on your team, your walls would be phenomenal. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna introduce inside edge stops which is going to lead up to a plow stop so look forward to these drills let me know what you think let me know if you have questions or if you want to see something else in the future thanks guys check them out so drill number one is what i call eggshells for this drill we are in a derby stance it is in a basic athletic stance chest over knees over toes and sit down on your butt we are only using our inside edges as you roll forward, put as much weight on your inside edge, specifically the front wheel or your toes. Come to a controlled stop in the front. I do not want you to tink your knees together. That teaches us bad habits. After stopping in the front, roll backwards on your inside edge, specifically the back wheel or your heel. Come to a complete and in control stop in the back and repeat going forward or backwards. So it's inside edge, inside edge, inside edge, inside edge over and over again. This is 100% about power. Rip your feet and push to give yourself as much momentum as possible. If you hear a scraping sound or a fart, as I call it, you're probably doing well. Drill number two is a one foot plow. Start in a derby stance. 
While rolling forward, pick one leg and shift half your weight to the inside edge of that foot. We are starting with one foot so you can have the other leg for balance. I'm not asking you to pick any of your feet up off the ground. Please keep both feet on the ground at all times. Stop and begin rolling forward again and then shift half your weight to the other foot on the inside edge. Usually I do this all the way around a track so if you have a large enough space you can do this while continually rolling. Drill number three is what I call chattering. This drill has two parts. One part is standing still and the other part is moving. Start in a derby stance and roll one leg forward while shifting the weight on that leg to your inside edge. Especially focus on the front wheel, the one closest to your toes. Before your knees tink together, pull that foot backwards and roll the opposite forward and shift the weight onto your inside edge. Repeat as much as you like. Also practice this skill while rolling. That is part number two of the drill. Complete the same steps while propelling yourself forward. Drill number four is a plow stop. Here it is. Put both parts together for the whole shebang, a two foot plow stop. So you're going to use both your feet this time on those inside edges. To start, be in a good derby stance and roll forward. You need a decent amount of speed. If you go super slow, it will be really hard to stop. Once you're moving, shift your weight to your inside edges, especially the front wheels by your toes. This will make you stop. Once stopped, you can go again and try a plow stop again. A common error made while attempting a plow is that I will see people table topping or bending their torso over their knees. This will throw you off your center of balance. If you feel off balance, you need to sit down more. Your chest should never lean over your knees. Keep practicing this skill because you probably won't get it on the first time. I don't mean to be negative, but it's a hard skill to master. With practice, you will get it. It may just take some time. Keep on plowing. I hope you found today's drills helpful about inside edge stops and the plow stop, the dreaded plow stop. If that was really, 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 really hard for you, I'm just going to suggest that you do a couple of things off skates. You need to build up your ankle strength, number one, your flexibility and your balance. I also wanted to point out that you are not going to get these skills the first time you attempt them. If you do, holy heck, where have you been in this derby life this whole time? I definitely did not get these skills right offhand. Like I said, it took me about a year to feel semi-confident with a plow stop. So don't worry, you're gonna get it. You just have to practice and keep practicing. One of the things that I used to do is just stand in a derby stance while I was watching TV. Maybe I would just do it during the commercials at first. And then I started standing like in a plow stop, leaning on my inside edges. And that really, really seemed to help. I actually happen to be pretty bow-legged as a person, so plow stops were extra hard for me. I hated them. If you ever want to see a video about things that I personally do for ankle strength or balance, reach out to me. I'm more than happy to make one of those. I definitely could show you some off-skates exercises. See you guys later. Hit me up with any questions or any future videos you might want to see. Thank you.